and so for the development. Now the second same height, this has been taken from the 11 and join it with the 11, 12 and 1. So those are the curves that in this case have to be drawn freehand since it's a it's a cylinder with a curved surface area. When drawing curved surface area, make sure that you, if you're not using drawing aids like flexi curves or French curves, you just simply put your hand on the inside of the arc, first draw a faint line to guide you along the dots. Now when you're happy with your curve, line in a darker line in HP. Alright, turn your board or your arm so that you're always drawing from the inside of your curve. So the truncated cylinder would look something like this and its true shape of the opening would look elliptical like this, alright, it's like an over. If you look at it from the top you still see a circle, but the true shape is much longer than the plan. So as we did before I'm going to project perpendicular lines perpendicular lines from the truncated edge. So if I truncated at that angle it has to be 90 degrees with it and with the set squares very easy to project at 90 degrees so from that line to this line I'm going to draw them as long as possible to find the space necessary then again a line perpendicular to it, to these lines, which would be parallel to these. So this line, doesn't matter if, the, if I've, I've drawn on these construction lines, this length is the true length of the truncated, open the truncated surface. And what I need to do, as I did before, I'm, looking, I'm going to project all of these numbers again the same angle if this was 60 I'm projecting with 30 degrees before we had 45 degrees so I projected with 45 degrees to get 90 and if it's any other angle you project 90 degrees it's, it's complementary. It's complementary angle. So as we did before, I took this line, which is the true length, from this edge. Now I need its width. The width remained the same. So I'm taking the width from the plan. Now this line here is the center line. It goes through the center of the true shape. So that is that line. All I need now is to find the height, the perpendicular height of each point. So number two, just projected on the second line, is this far away perpendicularly from the center line. So I'm projecting it, I'm taking it to number two and I'm marking it on the same line. Number 12 beneath it is the exact same distance but on the opposite side. So, so far I've got these two points. That's the 2, that's the 12. But number 1 is very simple because that's in the center and that's there. So is number 7 on the other side. 
So number seven here was projected to the top where it was cut, projected down at 90 degrees, and there you have number seven exactly on the center line. Now two has the exact same distance as six and eight. So with the same distance on the compass, you can mark six and eight. Three, eleven, five, and nine have the same distance. So, from this distance, from the center line, perpendicularly up to three, and with that marking, I've got another four points. Coming. So I've got three and eleven. Five and eight. The last two points are four and ten. The diameter, the radius, which then will give me the diameter. There you go. All I have to do now is line in the outline of the true shape, as I did before. And that gives me a true shape of the opening. Remember, perpendicular distances taken from the center line to the point. From the center line to the point, perpendicularly. And then taken again from the center line to that point to find its thickness. That's it. And you have the front side plan, development, and true shape of a truncated cylinder.